9 things you do wrong in the morning. What do we all do in the morning? Jump out of bed because we slept through our five alarms. Watch some TV as the coffee's brewing, grab a bagel and run out the door. Sorry folks, but some of the most common morning habits are actually really bad for you. You better stay tuned for this one. But first, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring the little bell icon to stay up to date here on the bright side. Number 9. You enjoy a cup of steaming hot coffee early in the morning. Wait, what? Drinking coffee to wake up is a classic. Well, apparently you don't need it. The thing is that when you wake up, your body starts to produce a lot of cortisol on its own. Cortisol is the hormone that keeps you alert. Thus, you don't really need any additional substances to fight sleepiness. Your body is equipped to do that on its own. Health coach Kristen Battistelli warns that a morning coffee can lead to hyperalertness and feeling jittery. Besides, you'll confuse your body and throw its natural cortisol monitoring system out of whack. This will most likely cause an afternoon slump. That's when you feel tired, sleepy, and sluggish at around 1 to 3 p.m. The best time to have your morning joe is from 10 a.m. to noon. Number 8. You set multiple alarms or constantly hit the snooze button. It might be hard to drag yourself out of bed in the morning, but that snooze button is only making the problem worse. First of all, hitting snooze usually leads to a feeling of guilt and stress. Secondly, it makes you feel more tired than if you just get up immediately. When you fall asleep after hitting the snooze button, your sleep cycle starts all over again. But 15 minutes of stolen time isn't enough for you to get through all the necessary stages of sleep. As a result, you feel groggy, sleepier than before, and overwhelmingly unhappy. Try to get up as soon as you hear your first alarm. This will make you feel more energetic and your day will be much more productive. Number 7. You check social media first thing in the morning. Are you one of the many people who start their day by checking their social media? Well, yeah, duh. Got to stay up to date on the latest gossip and see what's going on in my friends' lives. Sorry, but checking social media actually stresses your body out. Your brain is still slowly awakening from its slumber when you start bombarding it with too much information. That sharp transition between being asleep to getting hyper alert doesn't do your body any good. That's why it's best to ignore your smartphone until you leave home. If you can't do that, at least wait until you've showered, had breakfast, and got dressed. That way, your brain has time to get alert and process all this news. Number 6. You skip breakfast or opt for a meal that doesn't contain protein. You've probably heard that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Don't take this phrase lightly. Breakfast helps jumpstart your metabolism and provides you with a boost of energy that gets you through the day. But a cup of coffee and a bagel won't cut it. Yes, gulping down lots of caffeine and throwing something in the toaster is fast, but it may cause an energy crash later on. Foods that contain carbohydrates like bagels or croissants provide you with jolts of energy, but after a couple of hours, you may experience a blood sugar crash. After that, you'll feel sleepy, irritated, and hungry. A much better option is a breakfast that contains high-quality fats and proteins. They'll keep you productive, focused, and energetic for a long time. Number 5. You start your day by checking your email. If you're not a social media surfer but an email checker in the mornings, don't assume that you're off the hook. When you open your messages before you've even washed your face, you mess up your priorities. You concentrate on that stack of tasks that have accumulated in your inbox. And your attention switches from really important morning activities such as having a meal or taking a shower to often unpleasant work responsibilities. Attend to your personal needs first and only then pay attention to your other tasks. Number 4. You turn on the TV right after you wake up. Lots of people reach for the remote right after they open their eyes in the morning. If you're one of them, here's yet another habit you should break, especially if you prefer news channels. Let's admit it. Most of the things they show you on TV aren't very positive. When you watch them, your cortisol levels spike. Therefore, you get stressed even before you leave the house. Naturally, this has a negative influence on how your day goes. Have some quiet time in the morning. This will help you get a sense of calm so that you can get through the day. Number 3. You keep your curtains or blinds closed. People often believe that it's better to wake up and get ready for a new day in the dark. They think that this will give their eyes time to adjust. In fact, a much better idea is to let natural light into your room as soon as you open your eyes. Life coach Kirkland Shave explains that morning daylight helps set your circadian rhythm. This leads to a natural cortisol release, which in turn helps you wake up and get ready for the day. Number 2. You twist and bend your body as soon as you wake up. What could be better than a good stretch in the morning? According to health and wellness coach Jeffrey Siegel, this may not be the best course of action. 
When you're asleep, your spinal discs are busy absorbing fluid. This is a normal part of their natural rehydration process, and it's why the discs expand at night. This also explains why you're always a bit taller in the morning than in the evening. Unfortunately, this process limits the vertebrae movements, causing the spine to become a bit too stiff after you wake up. That's why bending and flexing right after you get out of bed feels harder. It's also pretty dangerous and can lead to injury. Of course, you can stretch a little to release the tension that is accumulated in your body throughout the night. But be gentle and avoid sharp movements so that you don't hurt yourself. Number 1. You make your bed right after you leave it. Most parents teach their kids to make their beds as soon as they get up. Do you remember that feeling when you, still groggy after being cruelly woken up, had to struggle with this mundane task? Well, apparently your mom and dad were wrong. Making your bed right after you get up is not only useless, but even dangerous for your health. How so? Well, let me introduce you to the dust mite. Your bed is teeming with these microscopic creatures. Ew! It may sound shocking, but the average bed houses about one and a half million of these critters. Their main food source is your dead skin cells. More ew! However, that's not the worst part. These mites produce allergens that you inhale when you're asleep. These allergens cause serious problems like asthma and dust allergies. Now, when you sleep, you roll around and sweat. The first makes your dead skin flake off, and the second dampens the sheets. You can imagine what a feast it is for your bed mites. So if you get up and make your bed right away, you trap all this, the mites, the sweat, and the dead skin, under the covers. Okay, I'm about to lose my lunch. At the same time, leaving your bed unmade makes a huge difference. This way, all the nasty stuff that is gathered on your sheets gets exposed to light and fresh air. As a result, your mattress and sheets get much needed ventilation to dry out. According to a study conducted by Dr. Stephen Pretlove from London's Kingston University, lack of moisture dehydrates and kills mites. That's why the best thing you can do is to leave your bed unmade for the whole day. If you just can't help yourself, then make it when you return home from work or school. By that time, most of the mites will have met their demise. Did any of your morning habits make the list? Let us know down in the comments. Remember to give this video a big thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to stay on the Bright Side of Life.